Hello YouTube land. Welcome to another edition of Jeff's Toy Reviews. I am Jeff and today just got this in. This is BB7 Toys Yes Model YM01. So it's Yes Model 01. This is their first in their line. This is a knockoff of Masterpiece MP11 SW Skywarp. And um, just got him out of the box and I will tell you Joints are good. He his waist stays together. He is incredible looking right off the bat. I'm I'm already happy with this guy. So close up a little bit. Uh, really like what what he is. So I'm gonna show you what he comes with here. He does come with a Dr. Arkville. You see the mold there. He comes with a pilot. So you could choose which one you want in there. He comes with Megatron in gun mode, so he can, so Skywarp can wield him too, just like Starscream and everybody else. He also comes with a um, the plug that goes on the bottom of his uh, airplane mode, so Megatron can clip onto the bottom of his gun mode. He comes with two rockets, uh, rocket packs that just attach to the bottom of his wings. Um, or you can put them on the bottom of the flight stand and he does come with a flight stand, either jet mode or whatever. The difference between the knockoff and the, um, the official is this is clear. It's a clear white type plastic. And this is of course a darkened plastic. He also comes with, um, excuse me, sorry, I didn't mean to touch that. Comes with a nice instruction booklet. And just like the masterpiece, you know, pretty close to everything. Shows you how to transform, except for it doesn't have all the different versions of Skywarp on the back. But they even say MP11 SW Destron Warrior Skywarp. Like they are not balking at the fact that this is a, a basically it's it's Skywarp. So also comes with the sticker sheet, so you can put on the wings, you can put on the the stand itself, and a couple of different places for these. Um, really nice. I mean, really nice stickers, actually. Um, pretty impressed. And then he comes with, of course, the obligatory um, masterpiece card that has all his text, tech specs in the bottom. And I see this all in the back in, um, in the kanji, and I'm wondering if there are um, misspellings and stuff like that when you get a, some other knockoffs where the language isn't just right. But um, it says Transformers right on the top, masterpiece. I mean, they are basically copying this down to the thing. And the picture's nice. I mean, it's not like it's, I mean, it's a copy you can tell, but it's not bad. So, so here he is in his robot mode. And I um, have to look over a few things. Really like the head sculpt. It's just like all the others, you know, like the paint applications, joints are tight, nice, good ratchets. Um, he does have the rocket shoulders. These aren't painted, but he does have the rocket launchers in his chest. Um, he does have the articulated finger and then the um, other fingers are on one joint and then the thumb, you know, you can point really tight on the joints, which is kind of nice. Um, so point his weapon, his head ball joint. I mean, he's really tight. Um, you can, oop, this untabbed. Tabs in pretty good. Um, I just knocked it, and then he's got the good ratchet joints, and you can hear them. So, yeah, he's got articulation. Just he's he's just he, they really just took the MP11 mold and just um, brought him out. You know, they just copied the MP11 mold exactly, and then just uh, and just didn't put the stickers on him, painted them black, and added nice little paint apps and stuff. So um, I got this guy from TF Direct. Um, he was one oh nine ninety nine, I believe. And um, when Skywarp came out, he was two hundred and twenty nine dollars, the official. And I just didn't have the money, and I I really wanted Skywarp for my collection, and um, I saw. Um, someone was recommending TF Direct for a different thing, and I wound up seeing this guy on there before he was released, and I hemmed and hawed a little bit, and then I saw a couple of reviews, like Dolcar had a review, and so did Ben's Collectibles. They both had reviews of this guy, and um, 
I just, I had to give in and get in myself. So I'm pretty happy with uh, what I picked up and uh, for the price and everything, I, I think he's great. So let's go ahead and do the little transformation. I do not transform this guy the official way that everybody else does. I flip these back. I'm actually gonna raise the camera a little bit because I'm gonna have to bring him up. So, and I'm gonna try to scoot back so you guys can see all the transformation here. So, put his hands into their fist mode, or into their fist mode, into fists again, and because you're gonna have to tuck these in, and then come around the back, and you're gonna pop this out. This is really sturdy die cast. It's nice. I mean, it's one of the things that they mentioned. Um, also, real quick, I, I want to show this off. I'm sorry. See that? You don't see it, right? Because this isn't separating. I'm going to show you something. This is the official. Oh, this one didn't separate that well either. Um, but there's a small tab that tabs into this piece. And if you don't tab it in all the way or if it doesn't go in all the way, it's really loose. My Thundercracker is ridiculously loose, and I didn't get Thundercracker out because I just want to compare him to the star screen. Oh, size comparison. Duh. Here we go. This is him with the um, Takara official product. Um, they are exactly the same size. They're the same mold. Um, his feet are a little closer together, so there you go. And um, I'm happy now. I have all the Seekers that I wanted. I have the Thundercracker, Skywarp, Starscream. I now have, and I have Acid Storm and Sunstorm. So um, I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm gonna pull this out here and I'm going to pull that here. And I'm gonna show you that. See that? See that tab? It's a lot bigger than the one in there. That one's like half the size and that's awesome. So, so anyway. So we're going to take the nose and we're going to, and his ears will pretty much automatically squish together. So because of this piece here, and it'll just, just pretty much sink right in, which is nice. Ooh, I like that. They painted the chair. I know, simple pleasures, right? And then you're going to You have to pull this piece out nice clicks in there pretty good to form the nose cone sorry about that these should be up here and then kind of lock into place tab in and now that these are all in the place there's his head I'm going to rotate these up rotate forward actually so you get the intake here and then we're going to wow these screws are tight now i'm gonna tell you right now this is the first time i'm transforming this one on camera uh, period i like i said i just unboxed him put him on the counter on the on my table and these screws are really tight might have to get in with the screwdriver later and loosen those up but you know really tight which isn't a bad thing it's just wow so and oh these keep going in there we go so i forgot they hold in the head i'm not even i'm looking at the directions i'm going by memory because this is a um, mp11 is is a mold i really 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 liked and um and still do it is one of my favorite molds um, cause it's such a fun transformation. It's not a difficult transformation. It's actually in enjoyable. So, and then you're going to bring the arms. Um, oh yeah, the fists, sorry. These fists come in like so. And you're going to, as you turn this in, you're going to keep that straight. So you are going to have a little visible fist syndrome, but you know what? For a figure as cool as this, I think it's okay. 
and for the fact that it's a knockoff, I had somebody, I don't know who it was, started tell, lecturing me about knockoffs and everything and how they're not better than the original because, you know, they're knockoffs. And I'm not big on that. I mean, you don't need to lecture me. I enjoy collecting Transformers. I never thought I was ever going to get into knockoffs, but there are a few knockoffs that I actually really, truly like. So yeah, don't tell me what to do. So, <laughs> so you're going to, you see this tab right here. You're going to bring this in and it's going to tab in here like so. Straighten this up and then you're going to bring this piece down in there. So we'll stay there and then you're going to come in. Come on, this should slide right in. And there's a tab here that's going to slide into a hole here. Come on. I feel you. There it is. Nope, not yet. Nope, not, not low enough. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna have to reposition that. It's not tabbing in for some reason. Pegs and everything are all there, they line up. There's a, see there's two, oop, two small, there's a small one and then a longer one there and there's a, there's the long tab and the shorter one there. There we go. Just had to line it up just right. You're gonna bring these wings down again and you're gonna tuck this under this tab here. Close this, that'll secure it into place. And we're gonna do the same thing as we did on the other side. Nope, nope, still not. Come on, no. Nope. Maybe I have to do it this way. I have to see where it's going. Got to make sure I line that up just right. Just come on, get in there. Sorry, keep moving off the screen because I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Hmm. Got to get that in there. Oh, no wonder I'm missing. The, I forgot about this tab here below. See this tab on the elbow here? That needs to slot into there. And that'll help keep it in spot and I did not do that on this side so that's why I was having a problem like I said doing this from memory not trying to only because I like this mold so much that I figured I'd show you the transformation Oop, come on now you click back into place but you didn't take the arm with you All righty, there we go. That's all nice. And wow, that tab's in there really good. Once you get it in there, it's perfect. Um, now, you can do two things with these. You can keep these um, as the null rays and, um, and everything, or you can move them back, and there is a slot and a hole here, and there's a slot here you can, I mean, a tab and a, and a hole, and then you got a, or a port. You have the peg and you have the slot here, and you can. We got to flip these out, give them the full, the full uh, wing there, and you can just tab or put that in the place there. Looks very G one ish with those right there, right? Very nice. I'm I'm really overall impressed. I mean, everything is super tight, which is great. Um, some of it, I mean, is unexpectedly tight, and everything tabs in really well. So. Pretty excited so far. Now, before usually you could just tab these, uh, tab them together, but I don't do that because it makes it easier just to flip these in like so. Because once you get in there, you got to get these. If you tab them together, it's hard to get these out to do that. So I usually just wait, put this down, back in, and then I take them. And there's a big old uh, 
tab here or a big old peg here and you got a hole right there you just put those together and then you take the feet and you turn them around fold them up just like this on the other side spin fold up got the thrusters in the back it's pretty nice and then we're going to these slide down and they lock in the place nice very nice wow and then you just put the, push these legs in oh it's all right <laughs> i keep looking at the figure and stop looking at the camera sorry about that a little off my game today so you just take this and you just push them together and finishing touches you bring the wings down now what's amazing so far and i just noticed this is these wings are on really tight and the mp11s the other one i have they pop off starscream all of them always pop off on me so looking at the bottom you have your wheels your landing gears here here and then this one should i gotta find that tab where is it that little this little tab opens up here and then you just bring down the come on the landing gear it's pretty tight in there there we go landing gear down and yeah, they roll a little bit not too shabby i like how they have the white and the white walls on the inside of the tires and bring this down here put bring this up so you can take a look better look and there he is there is sky warp in his jet mode and i think he looks really good um he's just like mp11 i really don't have any complaints rolls all right um i i don't i like the little uh extra little bits they did here paint on the side to give them like the the landing gears and the blink i mean not the, the landing lights and the, the blinkers and and i i really dig it and if you want to place arcville or the pilot in there take dr arcville and he fits right in there you can close that right in there there you go so you can see arcville piloting a plane and then this should just come open just like all the others oop just like that tab in there there we go this will just pop open and he has that little radar thing that's supposed to disorient the autobots and then let's go ahead and put the landing gears back up and then close this off and then i'm going to do this you can do you can leave these on if you like no big deal the um the null rays and you can put the missiles um see they got the the peg and port or the peg and a slot here just like and you have the slot and the port here and you just or the peg and the you know what i mean nope oh, kind of shallow i think maybe let's see let's see if i can do this right because nothing's blocking it there we go oh sorry i hit the camera um so you can do that if you want but i'm just gonna put those up there get his other other missiles here line that up i'm sorry it's taken as long to line that up it is a knockoff so it does have i will say now these ports are tight everything is tight on this figure and then at the landing gear you have this port here with the little tab that actually will rest you bring this together it's supposed to be together better than that and then this will slot this will slot into this this uh port here and you just line that up Oh, thought I had it. That's not good. Come on now. Oop. Excuse me. Bring that, lock that back into place. And there he is. So I will apply the stickers later. Um, I will tell you right now, um, for a knockoff, 
109 bucks versus 230. Um, I think I got my money's worth. Not only that, I got more than my money's worth. This guy is excellent. Um, I would say if you want a masterpiece figure, but you don't want to pay the masterpiece price, I would say go with the Yes Model uh, BB7 Toys version, only because it um, they are doing a fantastic job, at least so far with this one. Uh, Kai uh, Beyond Bao is also doing Masterpiece Seekers. They have a Starscream coming out. They just put out their Skywarp 2 or announced him, but I like this guy a lot. I am happy, totally happy. I like the jet mode. I like the transformation. I like that the joints are tight. Nothing's loose. The fingers, everything looks good. So that's how I feel right now about this one. And I know they're doing the cone heads too. They're doing all of them. They already have pictures on TF Direct of Thrust, Dirge, and um, Thrust, Dirge, and Ramjet. They're all up there. So I'm probably going to go for those eventually as well because I'd rather pay 100 bucks than 130 I could save some money um, and still get my transformer fix. And I think these guys are great. Um, well, at least this guy's great. Um, I will have him displayed with all my other seekers. I'll put some pictures later up on Instagram um, of, uh, of these with the other seekers. And I'll make sure I put the stickers on and everything too. So, um, but that's it for uh, just toy reviews of BB seven MP 11 SW Destron Warrior Skywarp, uh, a knockoff of Skywarp from the Masterpiece uh, Takara Tomy Masterpiece, um, done by BB7. Picked it up at TF Direct. They do not sponsor me. I'm just throwing their name out there because I collect. And if you collect and if you're curious, check out their website. They got some great stuff. Now, not everything's great, but they have a lot of great stuff. So thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day. And I'm your host, Jeff, with Jeff's Toy Reviews. Have a good one.